You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Welcome to Spiritual Awakenings with your host, Marsha Hebrink. Listen now as Marsha explores the mystery of angels. Who are angels? How can they help us? And how can we connect with these wonderful beings of light to enlighten and enrich our lives? So now, please welcome the host of Spiritual Awakenings, Marsha Hebrink. Welcome, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebring, and you are listening to Spiritual Awakenings. And we're coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And we're so glad you're here on this beautiful day. It's a little bit of a rainy day here in North Carolina where I am. It's been rainy for a while, but uh, anyway, it's beautiful to me. I can see some gorgeous green trees out my window here. And uh, one of my favorite sayings lately since the whole uh, COVID thing started is every day alive on the planet is a gift. And really and truly it is. I feel like some of the times that we've experienced, you know, in the last year and a half have really brought that to the fore, you know, for all of us. What a gift it is to be alive and to be able to be connected with those we love and just to, to hold them dear, you know. Uh, so much to be grateful for, most certainly. And when we focus on the gratitude, it shifts everything. So I will tell you, um, I have had um, a pretty rough 12 hours, but I am here and I'm happy to be here. And being here is a good thing for me. It, it cheers me up because I know that you guys um, are right here with me and love the angels and love learning about the angels and the crystals and stones and different aspects of healing and so this is a wonderful place for me to be but i'll just put it out there my beautiful shetland sheepdog his name is leo he is 15 years old and he got sick yesterday evening and uh really his his situation changed with his health very rapidly and he is a healing dog and he's been a part of my healing practice Oh, gosh, I guess 14 years, you know, uh, once he got to the point where he was a little more mature, we had to kind of get him trained and everything. But um, very much a part of all the sessions, the healing sessions and readings and everything I've done all these years. And uh, so he is at the hospital, at the veterinary hospital now, and he was kept overnight. He'll be there tonight as well. And so please keep him in your prayers. He is in Durham. North Carolina, and um, his name is Leo Hebrank. He is such a sweet boy. So they are running some tests and uh, doing some interventions with him to get his health a little more uh, solid. His blood pressure was high and all kinds of stuff were going on. So we're hoping for the best, but he is a very old Sheltie. I did find out that Shetland sheepdogs do not often live more than 12 or 13 years. So the fact that we've had him 15 years, talk about a gift. You know, it is really, really wonderful that he's been with us all this time. So, because I have animals on my mind today, as you might expect, I decided I would talk about animals today. And a um, couple things. There is, of course, an angel who works with animals. There are a couple of them. And there also is an ascended master who can help us with our animals, with our pets. Now, last night, Leo was in the hospital, and I was here in my home, and I woke up in the middle of the night, about 2.30 in the morning, and just thinking about him. And so I sent him distance Reiki right there from, you know, where I was in my bed. 
And if you're a Reiki practitioner and you're attuned to level two or greater, you can do that. If you ever need to do that for your pet, um, don't don't uh, hesitate to do it because Reiki is a wonderful healing modality for animals of all kinds. Um, I work with as an animal communicator with dogs and cats and horses. I've even worked with a couple of birds and uh, I also do animal healing. Uh, some of which is with Reiki and some of which is with crystals and stones. And I also work with the angels with animals. And I love doing that. I absolutely do. I trained with a couple people out in Baltimore, Maryland, and uh, am training now with uh, a lady out in California who is quite wonderful and pretty well known. So um, just, you know, to deepen my ability to work with pets and their the pet parents, you know, uh, couldn't ask for a kinder group of people to work with than pets and pet parents. And I do think pets are people, you know, they are to me, at least my parent, my pets are, are like my, my kids, really my fur kids, I call them. So I wanted today to talk a little bit about spirit animals, spirit animals. And the angel who is connected with spirit animals as well, there's an angel for that. So first off, let me tell you about the angels who we can call upon if we have an animal. Now, it could be a wild animal as well. So we have a lot of deer here. And uh, a while back, a few years ago, there was an injured deer uh, that was out here behind the healing room. And we had to figure out what to do to get him some help. And so, you know, there may be an injured uh, animal. There may be an animal who's sick that is a wild animal. Uh, like, likewise, your pets that you have, your cats and dogs and horses and things, uh, you can call upon the angels to bring healing to them. You can also call upon the angels to help you to communicate with them, to connect with them. And you as a pet parent, if you are a pet parent, uh, I think a lot of you are, you know, you have most likely the deepest connection with your own animals that anybody on the planet has. And uh, it was so funny when, when we got Leo, when he was a little tiny puppy, he was so cute. Uh, my daughter named him and the name just came to her. And this is what happens. Sometimes animals will name themselves. They will let us know when they're puppies or if we adopt, you know, an adult dog from the shelter or something like that, which I hardly heartily recommend. Um, they will tell us their names and the name will just kind of pop into your head. It's, it's so sweet that way. But one of the angels you can work with is named Archangel Thuriel, and Thuriel's name is spelled T-H-U-R-I-E-L. And Archangel Thuriel is an angel in particular who can help you with animal communication. And again, wild animals, tame animals, pets, it does not matter. Uh, Thuriel is very, very, very wonderful. And many people do not know about Thuriel. Now, when I connect with Thuriel, I feel a male energy, but this may not be true for you. Um, angels are neither masculine nor feminine. They have both masculine and feminine attributes occurring in balance within themselves. So Thuriel may be female to you, and that's fine. Another angel to call upon for working with pets is Archangel Ariel, and Ariel's name is spelled A-R-I-E-L. When we get back from the break, I want to tell you lots of good things about Ariel, and then we'll talk some about animal helpers, our animal guides, and how they can help us too. And Ariel is so beautiful. She comes into a lot of the healing sessions that I do with pets, pretty much all of them, and uh, is just so, so helpful and so beautiful. So we're going to take a quick little break, you guys. When we come back, I've got more to tell you about angels and animals. And stick around. I am Marcia Hebrank, and this is Spiritual Awakenings. And we are coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And we'll be right back. 
what if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy sense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation if you seek a courageous advocate prepare to champion your rights with consumer service agencies that support aging populations carol ann hamilton is the one for you Carol Ann is an elder care coach, author, and speaker with a quarter million hours lived experience successfully supporting unculpable aging parents. As a result of a challenging journey, Carol Ann revolutionizes how stressed out caregivers restore serenity to their worlds. She also brings over 25 years of change management expertise in Fortune 500 settings to catalyze urgent transformation within the elder care industry. Carol Ann is a popular speaker at conferences across North America. She has appeared via TV, radio, and print globally. Now you can tune in weekly to get a dose of her inspiration plus down-to-earth advice to cope with even the most difficult aging parents. Listen Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebring, and you are listening to Spiritual Awakenings. Coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And today we're sharing about angels and crystals and stones and spiritual healing. And our topic today is angels and animals. And we have a couple angels and an Ascended Master to share briefly about here with you. And uh, I do want to tell you I have two classes coming up. If you are interested in learning to work with your animal guides, your spirit guides who are in animal form, I have a class coming up and it will be on Zoom. And that is this Saturday, the 21st of August from 9.30 to 5.30 Eastern Time. If you're interested in that, you can go to my website, onelightcenter.com, O-N-E-L-I-G-H-T-C-E-N-T-E-R.com. And click on classes, then click on core shamanism, then click on the class, the shamanic journey, pathway to knowledge and power. And students in that pass in that class will learn to journey to meet with their compassionate helping spirits, their animal helpers and uh, work with them. So if you're interested in doing that, let me know. I'm happy to teach you. The other thing I want to let folks know about is that on Saturday, September 11th, 9-11, uh, the angels led me to teach a class on Zoom, and this will be a live class, interactive class, called Angel Card Reading Certification Training. And it is a one-day class, same hours, 9.30 to 5.30, and the students will be learning about the angels and learning about how to work with the angels, especially related to doing readings with the angels using angel cards. So if you're interested in that, go to that same website, onelightcenter.com, and click on Angel Intuition and Healing, and then click on Angel Card Reading. And I am happy to teach you. got some sweet people who are coming to the class and happy to have more of you join us. So back to our angels of the day here and our topic, Angels and Animals. I will just tell you, I believe that pets, our dogs and our cats and our horses, I believe they are fur angels. I honestly feel that they have a level of compassion within them that is pretty much, you know, it's greater than a lot of people have on this planet, isn't it? Those of you who are pet owners, you know what I'm talking about. Your dogs and your cats, your turtles, you know, all those pets. 
they love us unconditionally. And when we look into their eyes, they have nothing but love for us. And so, you know, they are an example for us of how to bring compassion into our world, how we can bring love and be in the present moment. And uh, so, I, you know, I feel like I have to say my dog, uh, he's the first dog that I really have spent lots and lots of time with. And he has transformed my life in so many beautiful ways. Uh, he opened my heart in ways I didn't even know it could open. So um, if you're thinking about getting a pet, <laughs> it's a big responsibility, obviously. But, um, oh, my goodness, it is so worthwhile. It really is. But they need us, and they really count on us, don't they? So back to our angels. So I mentioned Archangel Thuriel, T-H-U-R-I-E-L, who's an angel who helps with animals, animal healing, and in particular, animal communication, talking to your animals. Now, another being that you might want to call in, if you have pets or if there's a wild animal that you want to connect with, and this is St. Francis of Assisi. And it's S-T, St. Uh, Francis, F-R-A-N-C-I-S. And there are some beautiful things written about St. Francis. He was a monk. Uh, and the animals, the wild animals, were totally drawn to him. And quite literally, he would just be out somewhere giving, you know, a little speech or something. And the birds would fly to him and the deer would come to him. And all the wild animals just loved him because he was so kind and had such a beautiful heart, I believe. But St. Francis, as an Ascended Master, can be called upon to come here and help us if there's an issue with our pets or with wild animals who need our help. And it could be healing or it could be, you know, finding out what's wrong or, you know, whatever the case may be or dealing with behavioral issues and things like that. So uh, do not hesitate to call upon him either. He is very gentle and very loving and uh, has a, a wonderful connection with animals. So the other one you want to work with, with animals, I hope my sister is listening to this, by the way. Sometimes she listens to the show, and she is a big-time animal lover, and she just rescued a Shetland sheepdog recently who um, the, the owner had passed away. And so she has taken him on, and he's an older Sheltie and, and really cute. Um, so Archangel Ariel, I mentioned her before, and I want to tell you more about her. Ariel is one of the 12 major archangels. Her name is spelled A-R-I-E-L. Her name means Lioness of God. Lioness of God. And sometimes she will show up in the form of a lion. So for those of us who tend to see things, um, for me when I'm doing healing sessions or angel therapy sessions, pretty much everything I do, I tend to get visions of things. Uh, visions of angels uh, and visions of, you know, spirit animals and things. And so Ariel is one that about half the time when I'm working with my clients, she'll come in as a lion and then she'll shift over into her angelic presentation. She has a beautiful pink energy and oftentimes folks will see that pink. She also has a very strong powerful, courageous energy about her. And I keep saying energy, don't I? She, her energy is similar in a way to Michael's energy in that it's courageous and strong and powerful, but also she is, is very goddessy. You know, there, you can feel the feminine quality with her uh, when she comes in. So we're going to take another break, you guys. When we come back, I want to tell you more about Archangel Ariel and how to work with her. And I also would like to pull an angel card for us today for everybody who's listening into the show. So stick around. We'll be back in a jiffy. I am Marcia Hebrank, and you are listening to Spiritual Awakenings, coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and tune in radio and we will be right back 
Tune into It's All About You with host Dr. Martha Latz, a lively weekly broadcast on BBM Global Network, one of the most empowering shows for time-starved, overscheduled multitaskers. The professional expertise of Dr. Latz is directly available live every Thursday at 1 p.m. to answer and address concerns about relationships, life transitions of career, meeting, dating, and committed relationships. It's All About You with Dr. Latz will expand your understanding of current concerns across your relationships by broadening and expanding possible solutions in developing skills for mutually desired outcomes. Dr. Martha's expertise is as a licensed marriage and family therapist, life, transition coach, and all things to do with communication at work, home, and with friends. Check out her website at auniquetherapycenter.com. Dr. R.C. will share extraordinary resources and services that promote educational success as well as making a difference in the lives of all social workers as well as the lives of children, adolescents, and teens of today. She will have open discussions addressing many of the issues that we face about our youth and how being employed in the uniquely skilled profession of social work for over 18 years has taught invaluable lessons through her personal experiences. She will also provide real-life facts, examples, and personal stories that will confirm that why serving as a child advocate is extremely beneficial when addressing the needs of the whole child. Listen live to Dare to Soar, Saturdays, 10 a.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network. Network and tune in radio as Dr. R.C. will provide thought-provoking information that will empower, encourage, and strengthen students, families, and communities across our nation. You can also visit her at soarwithkatie.com. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebring, and you are listening to Spiritual Awakenings, coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And we're so glad you're here. So back to Archangel Ariel. Ariel is very strong, and um, if you're somebody who would like to be a little tougher, you know, um, a little more able to stand your ground and be assertive, Ariel is a great angel for you to connect with. If you're somebody who, you know, maybe you don't want to lose your temper, but you're somebody's putting you down or somebody's, you know, treating you in a way that's not respectful, and you kind of need to kind of get it together and maybe let that person know in an assertive way that, uh, hey, that's unacceptable. This is who you want, Archangel Ariel. She is very loving and very... Uh, compassionate, but she is also a warrior, W-A-R-R-I-O-R, not a warrior, a warrior, and so she can help you to be assertive with people, to use your voice to speak your truth with clarity, and to really be able to liberate yourself from any kind of oppressive processes that you may be dealing with. So she's also great with animals, and she has a deep bond with animals who are homeless, animals who are out in the wild, with animals who are in shelters and things like that. She can help us if we have lost our pet, God forbid, um, a cat or a dog or you know any type of animal that is lost. Uh, in this area where we live, there is actually a group of dogs that are half dog and half wolf that got loose. And so one, they've gotten all of them picked up now except for one and I think the wildlife folks are taking care of those dogs, wolves uh, wolf dogs uh, but the one is still out there missing and so in a situation like this, you know, she is a great angel to call upon to help bring that missing wolf dog back to the pack Um, you can also call upon her if you need healing for your dog or you need to help understand your dog or your cat Um, And she also can help connect you to your animal guides. And in the next segment, we'll talk a little bit about animal guides. There's a whole lot I could say about them. Maybe I'll do that on another show. But before we do anything else, let's get an angel card, a little reading from the angels for each one of us listening to the show right now. Because the angels have lots to say. 
and uh, we want to ask them what we need to know today. So let's all just close our eyes and take a long, slow, deep, easy breath in, breathing in peace and serenity. And on your out breath, breathe out any stress. Just let it go right on out to the angels. And I have a deck of angel cards here. This is the Archangel Oracle card deck by my teacher, Doreen Virtue, that I trained with in Hawaii. And I'm going to pray over these cards for us. So let's close our eyes and be silent for a moment together. Great Spirit, Mother, Father, God, beautiful angels, archangels, ascended masters, compassionate helping spirits and spirit teachers, spirit guides of the light, guardian angels, we call you all in into this place and time for the purpose of providing your loving guidance for each one of us who is listening in to spiritual awakenings right now, either live or on rebroadcast. Angels, archangels, ascended beings of the light, what do we need to know about, be aware of, or do at this time for our highest and best good? And we send our gratitude and love. And we call upon Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel for clear messages, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Ariel, and a holy host of others to assist. And we are grateful. And so it is. Thank you, God. Thank you, angels. And here is the card. Ooh, this has been coming up in sessions I've been doing. This card is from an angel that I love so much. Maybe I'll talk about him on a show coming up pretty soon. Um, and this is Archangel Metatron. Metatron's name is spelled M-E-T-A-T-R-O-N, Metatron. And Metatron's message is that we need to call upon Metatron to help us to clear and open our chakras using his sacred geometric shapes. And Metatron is associated with a Merkaba, M-E-R-K-A-B-A, -A, and a Merkaba is, it's, it's beautiful, it's just incredible. Uh, and it, it really, he brings it right in and it clears and cleanses each of our chakras. So I want to tell you the full message on this card. Metatron uses sacred geometric shapes to clear and align our chakra centers. That's the energy centers in our body. So we can, and let's all do it right now, we can mentally ask Archangel Metatron to open our chakras and he will gently send his Metatron's cube and you'll see it or feel it, he brings it through our crown chakra at the top of our head and that cube rotates downward and as it goes down through each of our chakras, it is cleaning and clearing psychic toxins from our body and our chakras. And as that Metatron's cube gets all the way down to our base chakra, our root chakra, it begins its ascent. It comes slowly back up through each one of those chakras, again cleansing and clearing each chakra of psychic debris <clears throat> and bringing psychic debris out of our body as well. And it comes all the way back up out the top of our head, out through our crown chakra. And Metaton takes that debris sends it into the light for transmutation and let's send him our gratitude and love our appreciation thank you metatron for that healing and metatron is a wonderful angel his aura is a beautiful violet and sea foam green striped aura can you imagine uh, he is gorgeous and the crystal that is associated most closely with archangel metatron is watermelon tourmaline so we are going to take a quick little break. I will be back. Stick around. 
I'm Marcia Hebrink, and this is Spiritual Awakenings, and we're coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio, and we will be right back. According to the American Nurses Association, there are approximately three and a half to four million nurses in the United States. So where do all these nurses work? What kind of roles do they have? What kind of education and training help to prepare them for so many different settings? What kind of impact do nurses have on patient outcomes? The World Health Organization has announced that 2020 will be the year of the nurse, honoring the 200th birth anniversary of Florence Nightingale. An international initiative called Nurse Nursing Now is underway to raise the profile of nursing. The National Academy of Medicine has convened a committee to create the future of nursing 2020 to 2030 that will focus on how the nursing profession can create a culture of health, reduce health disparities, and improve the health and well-being of the U.S. population. Learn more and join Joyce Batchelor on All About Nursing, Wednesdays from 7 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on the BBM Global Network. Have you ever wondered why some children recover from their symptoms of autism while others never seem to get any better? After 13 years of research, Karen Thomas has recovered her own son from his symptoms of autism naturally. She now shares how she did it with you in her free webinar so that you can have the right resources and knowledge to help your child. The definition of recovery is to regain health. Karen offers this to you in four stages. Healing the gut, natural heavy metal detoxification, balancing the co-infections of autism, brain support, and repair. Register now for this free webinar to help you know what you can do to help your child to sleep better, be more calm, improve focus, and reach their fullest potential to live a happy, healthy life. Go to naturallyrecoveringautism.com forward slash free workshop. Empowering parents with the resources to naturally recover autism from a mom who's done it. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebring, and you are listening to Spiritual Awakenings. And we are coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And today we're talking about angels and crystals and animals, animals, angels and animals today, uh, spiritual healing. So I wanted to tell you about if you are a pet parent and... I know some of you are trained in Reiki healing and other types of of healing, healing touch, things like that. But a lot of you are not. And I just want to let you know, actually, Ariel wants me to let you know, that doesn't matter. You can still bring healing to your pets. And the way you would do that is to just place your hands very gently on your pet. And then close your eyes and say to them, you are loved, you are well, you are perfect. And call upon Archangel Ariel with your intention. You can do it out loud if you want to. But call Archangel Ariel in and ask her to come and bring healing to your pet. And beautiful golden light or pink light will come into the animal. If you're a seer like I am, you may see that healing love and light coming in. You may actually feel healing love and light coming through your hands. Because again, as I said before, if you're a pet parent, you love that animal unconditionally and you know them better than anybody else on the planet. And so that love that you have for your pet, heaven responds to that love. And you can start out maybe with a prayer too to the God of your understanding and call in the angels of healing. And particularly they'll call in Archangel Thuriel, St. Francis, and Archangel Ariel to come and help your pet. And they will do it. Uh, Don't worry that you haven't been trained as an animal healer. If you want to be trained as an animal healer, let me know, and I can let you know know, who you might check with about getting that training. Uh, I do not teach that at this point in time, but I know some folks who do who are quite good at it. So, 
a little bit more about things that Ariel can help you with, Archangel Ariel. Ariel can help you connect with your animal guides. Your animal guides, G-U-I-D-E-S. Now, some people call these spirit helpers. Spirit helpers. And I often hear people talking about their spirit guides. And so I'll ask them, is your spirit guide an animal or is your spirit guide a person? And, and actually, we have both, you know, with us. Um, and these animal guides, though, they are guides in an, a, the form of an animal. And they will tend to help us in all kinds of amazing ways in our daily lives. And so many different types of animals that uh, may show up. Um, I have one friend who is also a teacher, and her animal guide is a crow. And she has crow songs and all kinds of things. She's very connected to the crows and goes out and talks to the crows. Now, I love hawks, and where I live, there's woods around, and I have a hawk that comes and sings to me from the trees, and he sometimes will bring his, his wife or his girlfriend, I'm not sure which one she is, and there have been times when uh, I believe they've had a little group of baby hawks that they've been teaching to sing. So notice the animals that are in the environment where you live. It might be a hummingbird that comes to your window. You know, it could be a little fox, could be a bear, could be a dog. Uh, but animal guides come in many different forms. And no particular animal is any better or superior to any other animal guide. And I believe that animal guides are another way that we as humans here on the planet can receive the support that we need. And I'm here to tell you, you are not alone. You've got guardian angels with you. And I can pretty much guarantee you, you have animal guides with you. Um, and they are wonderful. And so if you're interested in getting to know your animal guide, drop me an email at marciahebrank at yahoo.com, M-A-R-C-I-A. H-E-B-R-A-N-K at yahoo.com and I'll be happy to talk to you about it. It's a wonderful thing to learn to do. Uh, but they have lots they can help us with and animal guides are not hard to connect with. I think people often are under the mistaken idea that you have to be a shaman to connect with your spirit guides, with your animal guides. And that is not the case. You do not have to be a shaman to do that, not at all. And one of the things that I do, sometimes I will see my client's animal guides with them and I'll point them out to them. And also sometimes I will bring a client an animal guide through something called a uh, power animal retrieval. And that animal is an animal that is there to help that person, to bring them power protection, guidance, and healing. So it's really a restoration of an old connection that that person may have had with that animal so that they can really help them in a more active way in their lives. And these animal guides are very protective. And what I have found when I do power animal retrievals is that my clients are able to connect with the animal really quickly and these are people many of them who have never taken any classes in any kind of metaphysical stuff you know they're not shamanic they're not angelic folks they're just normal people and an animal is brought in for them i tell them about the animal and ask them to connect and kind of coach them through that and they are able to connect with the animal quite beautifully and in fact can get messages from them can find out what that animal is there to help them with and all kinds of things and receive healing from them and so on and so forth. So I thought I would mention to you uh, when we come back about a few of the animal guides that are kind of the most well-known that are often with folks. And we're going to take a quick little break. When we come back, I'll tell you all about it. I am Marsha Hebrank, and you are listening to Spiritual Awakenings, and we are coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. 
And we're so glad you're here. Stick around. We will be right back. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. According to the American Nurses Association, there are approximately 3.5 to 4 million nurses in the United States. So where do all these nurses work? What kind of roles do they have? What kind of education and training help to prepare them for so many different settings? What kind of impact do nurses have on patient outcomes? The World Health Organization has announced that 2020 will be the year of the nurse, honoring the 200th birth anniversary of Florence Nightingale. An international initiative called Nursing Now is underway to raise the profile of nursing. The National Academy of Medicine has convened a committee to create the future of nursing 2020 to 2030 that will focus on how the nursing profession can create a culture of health, reduce health disparities, and improve the health and well-being of the U.S. population. Learn more and join Joyce Batchelor on All About Nursing, Wednesdays from 7 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on the BBM Global Network. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebrink, and you are listening to Spiritual Awakenings. And we're coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And we're glad you're here today on this beautiful day. So a few animal guides to know about. The wolf as an animal guide is an animal who is very instinctual. And they work well in a pack, in a group. And if you have wolf energy brought to you, You are encouraged to trust your perceptions and your instincts. Pay attention to your intuition. You may already know what you need to do. And the wolf is also a pathfinder, and it can help you to find your path and move in the direction of your divine purpose. Really good helper. Another animal guide to be aware of is the snake. A lot of people are afraid of snakes. I kind of like them, um, as long as they're not poisonous snakes. And the snake is a symbol that it's time for change to happen in your life. Now, what does the snake do? The snake sheds their skin once a year, and it reveals a brand new silky body. And when a snake comes to you, it's a message that it's time for you to let go of the old and shed your old skin so you can step into the new. So there's a couple of fun ones. Gosh, another one. um, mm, There's so many of them. The bear is a wonderful spirit animal. And the bear is an animal that lets you know it's good sometimes to go into your own cave. You know, bears hibernate. They go and they rest. And they, when it's cold outside, they get in that cave and they have a good long winter sleep. And they feel safe and secure in there. And when it's time to come out in the springtime, they do. So the bear may be coming to you to let you know, hey, it's time to relax and just spend some time at home and take it easy. And the bear is also a healer. A wonderful, wonderful healing spirit animal. So I thought next, let's go ahead and do a brief little meditation. And let's see about connecting with Archangel Ariel and our spirit animal. So let's go ahead right now and close your eyes. And let's take a few long, slow, deep, easy breaths. Breathing in peace and serenity and breathing out anything you need to let go of. 
Send it all the way out on the out breath. Breathing in love and light. Breathing out any stress or tension. Now imagine yourself enveloped in a beautiful golden light. And this golden light falls across your face, your body, all around your aura, all within you from head to toe. And feel now the angels of light surrounding you. And together with me, let us thank Archangel Ariel. We send our gratitude, Ariel. And we send our gratitude to our animal guides for coming close to us and for reminding us of their presence today. We are ready to connect with you, beautiful beings of love. And with your eyes closed, allow yourself to go on an inner journey to a favorite place, such as the beach, a castle, the forest, some place where you feel really excited and happy, a magical place that is your special place. And as you arrive at your special place, your animal guide is waiting for you there along with your vision of Archangel Ariel. In the presence of Archangel Ariel and your animal guide, ask your animal guide a few questions. Thank it for showing you the way to connect with its essence as it will have a great deal to offer you. And hold Ariel's hand as you do this. Ask your animal guide, spirit helper, animal guide, what are you here to help me with the most? And pay attention to whatever you receive. You may hear it, feel it, sense it, or just know it. Now ask your animal guide, do you have a message for me? And again, pay attention to everything you see, feel, hear, sense, or know. And receive that message from your animal. And if you wish, you can let that animal guide know and Archangel Ariel that you welcome them being on your team, your angel team and let them know that you appreciate them being with you and serving in this way. And see yourself giving them a great big hug, a hug for your animal and a hug for Ariel. And see yourself now retracing your steps one by one, coming out of that beautiful special place, knowing you can return at any time you wish in the future. All you need to do is remember and see yourself coming slowly and gently back into here and now, back into this physical world. And wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes and open your eyes. And come all the way back into your body, back into the room, back into this place and time, aware of your animal helper and aware of beautiful Archangel Ariel and ready to have a relationship with both of them. So many different animal guides. Some of them may take the form of a domestic animal like a cat or a dog. More often, they will take the form of a wild animal such as a dolphin or a fox, an elephant, a tiger, a lion, a whale, any type of wild animal you can imagine, a bunny rabbit, And uh, each animal has its own unique gifts to give to you and its own qualities. And there is a beautiful book that I would like to mention to you. Um, It's one of my all-time favorites. If you want to learn more about animal guides and how to work with them, this book is called Animal Speak, The Magical and Spiritual Powers of Creatures, Great and Small. And it was written by a man named Ted Andrews, Ted Andrews, A-N-D-R-E-W-S. 
It has a picture of a Native American man with uh, a, the head of an eagle. <laughs> it's a beautiful book. I love it. Um, and it has great information about how to develop connections with your animal guides and a lot of information about many different ones. So we're going to take a break and we'll be back. And when we come back, I have more to tell you about our angel of the day. I'm Marcia Hebrink and this is Spiritual Awakenings. We're coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio and we will be right back. Have you ever wondered why some children recover from their symptoms of autism while others never seem to get any better? After 13 years of research, Karen Thomas has recovered her own son from his symptoms of autism naturally. She now shares how she did it with you in her free webinar so that you can have the right resources and knowledge to help your child. The definition of recovery is to regain health. Karen offers this to you in four stages. Healing the gut, natural heavy metal detoxification, balancing the co-infections of autism, brain support, and repair. Register now for this free webinar to help you know what you can do to help your child to sleep better, be more calm, improve focus, and reach their fullest potential to live a happy, healthy life. Go to naturallyrecoveringautism.com forward slash free workshop. Empowering parents with the resources to naturally recover autism from a mom who's done it. The opiate epidemic has reached crisis levels, and with so many families affected by addiction, opiate-related drug overdoses, and death, the time is now to have a real constructive conversation about addiction that could lead to better prevention, treatment, and recovery. Alan Charles, author and keynote speaker on drug abuse and prevention, presents The Alan Charles Show. Alan brings a message of hope, sharing his unbelievable story of surviving a 24-year addiction to cocaine and highlights from his memoir, Walking Out the Other Side, an addict's journey from loneliness to life. His raw honesty and courageous heart breaks the stigma of addiction and offers a unique perspective into the mind of an addict. Join Alan each week as he brings his listeners to a true understanding of the grip of addiction. It is only with this understanding that we can begin to heal. The Alan Charles Show, Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern on the BBM Global Network. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Marcia Hebrink, and this is Spiritual Awakenings, coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And we're so glad you're here on this beautiful day. Hope you enjoyed that meditation with Archangel Ariel and your animal guide. And I want to encourage you to get to know your animal guide more. You can get a picture of your animal and print it out on your computer, you know, on your printer and put it somewhere where you'll see it. And when you see it, it will remind you to connect with that animal and to call it in and ask for its help. You can also get a little miniature of your animal, like a wooden one or a stone one. And those are called totems, those little tiny uh, physical representations of our spirit animal. So uh, they're pretty fun to work with. I have a window full of totem animals here. I just love the little stone animals. I'm crazy about them. Uh, And all different kinds of stone, too. Um, And, you know, stones are our friends. I do have a, a crystal to tell you about briefly, and I know we don't have much time. But I have in front of me a stone that uh, I got out because I wanted to use it with my dog, who, as I mentioned, is uh, going through some physical challenges right now. And this is a stone if you or your pet is having some type of physical issue or someone you love. This is a great stone to help restore vitality, strength, courage, excuse me. And it also is a stone that can help purify the blood and purify the body and this stone is the blood stone and i have one right here it's spelled b-l-o-o-d-s-t-o-n-e really great for folks who are ill who are having surgery things like that 
It's not very expensive. You don't need a big one. Just get a small polished stone. But it really is very supportive during any type of adversity that you or someone you love may be experiencing. It can really, really help them to kind of, you know, move forward on the path past the obstacles that they're dealing with. And it is a great stone for restoration of health and vitality. I just wanted to mention that to you. I had it right in front of me here. So we don't have very much time. I wanted to share something real quick with you. And this is a little quick prayer. And it is to Archangel Ariel, our angel of the day. Archangel Ariel, Lioness of God, thank you for surrounding me in your golden light. I welcome your strength and assertiveness. I feel warm and safe knowing you are with me now. Thank you for unlocking my courage and helping me to see clearly. Surround me with your animal guides. I am free like the birds in the sky, like the lions in the wild. Today I soar high, unchanged, assertive, and at peace. Thank you, Archangel Ariel. I am the light, as are you. And I am ready to shine. Isn't that beautiful? That's from Kyle Gray's book, Angel Prayers, a prayer to Archangel Ariel. So sending you guys lots of love. Thanks for listening in today on the show. I hope to connect with you next week. Keep my little dog, Leo Hebrink, in your prayers. I'm hoping he's going to have some more time on the planet. He has helped so many clients of mine, and I love him so much. Sending you big hugs and wishing you all many, many blessings. Om Namaste. You've been listening to Spiritual Awakenings with your host, Marsha Hebrank. Join us each week as we discover and explore how angels, spirit guides, and spirit teachers through their guidance can nurture, heal, and balance our lives on Marsha Hebrank's Spiritual Awakenings. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.